assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer so uh, we have started a new course which is udo 16 technical course so uh, the first video of this course is how to install udo and configure it with pycharm so we will discuss each and every step so the page you are uh, you can see is udo default uh, documentation where uh, everything is explained uh, and i will follow these steps to install Udo. so why we are using source install because we are uh, going to set up Udo instance for development purposes and in the upcoming videos we will start uh, developing a module and we will do customization in Udo and we'll explain it uh, uh, also okay so the first step you need to do is to install pycharm so uh, in order to install pycharm first of all you need to download pycharm so you just need to go to uh, the browser and then uh, uh, enter pycharm and then just uh, download the pycharm uh, using this link so once the pycharm downloaded then you just need to go to the uh, download directory and you just need to right click here and then extract here so once you extract it, you will see this folder and then you need to go inside the folder and then inside the bin folder so you will see this pycharm.sh uh, file so you just need to open the terminal here and then just enter this command dot uh, forward slash and then uh, pycharm okay pycharm sh okay and then hit enter so once you hit enter it will uh it will open the pycharm for you and will show you options to install the pycharm so you just need to uh set up the pycharm it is it is already installed in my case so i uh i cannot see those options but you will see it and uh, you need to set up pycharm so whenever you uh, install the pycharm first time and it will open up through the terminal so if you close this terminal this pycharm will disappear so what you need to do is uh, to uh, right click here and uh, like if it is currently in the favorites so okay so i, I removed it and if uh, i need to click on add to favorites to uh, make it visible every time and you i uh, i should be able to I just open it from here when i click on it so let me just edit here yeah so now if i close this uh terminal so the py charm is still open because i have added it uh, inside the um like in the favorite so I, I just need to click here and then open it okay so the py charm is ready and installed now we can start installation of Udo. so for the installation of Udo, we have uh Two options either to download it directly from these links so we can download it from these uh, official links and we can download the enterprise edition also and the second option is to download uh, it using the git command so i will prefer to download it using the git command but i will not use this command because this command will download the whole Udo code but we need only Udo 16 so let me just open pycharm and first of all i need to create the project for this purpose so just cl uh, click on new project and here i need to enter udo 16 okay and i it will also uh, uh, give the options like uh, here you can change the virtual environment name but we will keep it as it is but uh, and here you have the option to choose the version of the python like which python version you want to use so here currently we have two options python 3 and python 3.8 if you have any other versions you can select it okay just create a uh, click the create button to uh, like create this project and it will create the virtual environment for you and this will be clean and just it will install just the basic uh, python packages uh, required for this pack, uh, this project okay but we need udo okay so we will have to uh, clone the Udo code inside this Udo 16 directory. So for this purpose, what I need to do is uh, to right click here. And let's just wait for this to load uh, it. And then we need to click uh, right click here and then open it with a terminal. Okay, so it will open up in the terminal and it will open up exactly with, with the virtual environment that we have recently created okay so the first thing we need to uh, do is here uh, is to install postgres 
So the command that you need to use is sudo apt install, uh, sorry, sudo apt install postgres. So this is the command that you need to use as postgres is already installed in my case so i will not repeat uh, and execute this command again so you just need to execute this command and you will have to enter yes in order to install it okay and the next command uh, you need to use is to install some of the uh, dependencies that are required for Uru. so let me just open this um, this uh, like project so here you can install uh, this Postgres users, Postgres database, and then these are the packages that are needed to install uh, like before start installation of Voodoo. So you just need to add it like this and execute this command. So it will run and it will uh, start installation of uh, this thing, okay? Okay, so this will probably take some time. So once it's uh, done, then I will uh, resume the video again. Okay, so the installation is done and these uh, these packages are installed. Okay, so the next step is to uh, like clone, uh, the, the next step is like to create the Postgres user. So in order to create the Postgres user, we need to use the command. Uh, let me just show you here. In the py charm so here we need to use the command uh, sudo su and then uh, postgres okay and then c and then in double quotes we need to use create a user and then here we need to add dash s and then here we need to add uh odo 16 something like the username okay so just hit enter so the user role has already been created so you you can just use this command to create it if it is not created you will be able to create it and then we need to set the password for this so for this purpose you need to first switch the user to postgres okay and then you need to execute the command psql and then we need to use the command like uh, alter role and then go to username which we have added which is go to 16 with a password password and like i will eat password is equal to 16 same it is okay and then uh, enter this okay the role has been modified so like uh password has been set up okay uh, exit like this exit okay so exit is done and uh, then the next uh thing is to clone the Udo code so in order to clone the Udo code so we will use uh a git clone and then uh, we need to go to here and then copy this uh, link like this Sorry. open py charm and then paste the link okay like this and then we need to use this command to enter like depth uh, depth dash depth one this this uh, branch which is 16.0 okay and just hit enter so it will clone the Udo code for us and uh, we will be able to uh, go to the next step which is uh, to install the uh, python packages okay so let's just wait to uh, clone the Udo code first and then we will go to the next step okay uh, so the next step is just uh, very simple we just need to uh, I use the command like pip install dash r and requirements.txt file. So I will show you where the requirement.txt file is located. So um, here, if we click here, so a new directory has been created which is Udo with the name Udo. If you open it, it will contain all the Udo code which is a Udo communities. And if you want to install Udo Enterprise also, so you just need to add this. Uh, link instead of uh this link okay and you just need to clone it the same way like you clone the Udo uh, community Udo. but uh, for Udo enterprise you first need to install Udo community and then you just need to clone 
or download the Ubuntu Enterprise add-ons. So once you uh, download the Ubuntu Enterprise add-ons, then you need to add that uh, Enterprise add-ons path in the config file. So I will show you how to create the config file, and uh, then it's done. Only uh, so for the Enterprise edition, these are the just extra steps. Okay, now we need to go to the um, Udo directory. Okay, like this. And here you will see this requirements.txt file. So we need to run this command pip install dash r requirements.txt file. Okay, so we need to execute this command to install all the Python dependencies that are required for this Ubuntu version 16. So all the uh, like uh, all the dependencies that are needed for this uh, Ubuntu versions are mentioned here in this uh, file. Okay, let me show you here. So this is the file. If I open it, you will see all the dependencies are mentioned with the version also. Okay, so it will just take a bit of time to uh, install all the dependencies, and hopefully it will get done soon. Okay, and then uh, okay, it is done successfully without no error. And if you got any error message, you just uh, have a uh, or a discard group you can ask your question in the discard group and we'll try to help you as soon as possible so it uh, gets started to load the modules and uh, then after this we have to configure the Ubuntu configuration file in order to um, uh, like in order to uh, run the Ubuntu. so um, there are two ways you can use the command line to run the Ubuntu, and you can also use this configuration in order to run the Ubuntu. so we will use this configuration so first of all go to debian and here you can see Ubuntu.com file so this is the file which you can add the configuration so here we have created the user with the name Ubuntu 16 and the password for the user is Ubuntu 16 so here we need to add the add-ons path so if you have only uh Ubuntu community you just need to copy this add-ons path like this add-ons path and you just need to add here and if you have uh, Udo enterprise you just need to copy the Udo enterprise files path and uh, you need to paste it uh, with comma separated just before these add-ons like here so it is something like enterprise you can add it like this and then uh, that's it but i don't have any enterprise add-ons so uh, i will just keep it like this and rest will remain the same and uh, here we need to uh, but one thing you need to do is to copy this path this file path which is this absolute path and then uh, you need to click here on edit configuration uh, just uh, duplicate this file and change the name to Odoo 16 okay like this here you need to add the path to the um, like many uh, manifest file which is inside Odoo okay this is the Odoo bin file sorry not manifest but bin file here you need to add the configuration like this o dash c and then the path to the configuration file okay and then here we need we can pass a parameter to create the database on the fly automatically when we uh, restart Odoo service okay so this is just for the development purposes if you don't want to create the database you don't need to pass this parameter which is like this and uh, db uh, Udo, you can say Udo 16 like this and it will create the database with this name so let me just click apply and then okay okay this is it it has been uh, added so let's just wait for this uh, uh, indices uh, to update and then we will uh, just click this button to run Udo okay so we are just a few seconds away to uh, run Udo. so uh, let's just wait and then uh, we will uh, resume the like the video after uh, this update okay the um, the system uh, indices has been updated so let me just uh, execute this uh, like click this button to execute Udo. So this is it. it it is going to create the database and it will run on the standard go to port like uh 8069 so let me just open it in browser 8069 and then web and then database manager okay so it is trying to create the new database uh, with all the data demo data so let's just wait for this 
so here you can see db order 16 have been created so let me try to log in so you can use admin username and admin password to log in here so this is it uh, these are the simple steps you can uh, follow to install ugo and configure it with pycharm so this is no configure with pycharm you can stop it from here you can uh, start it from here restart it Udo directly so these are the Udo add-ins uh, which are Udo community add-ins okay so this is it you can just uh, install any of the module like let me just install sales module in this case and uh, this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we will regularly update uh, uh, and upload new videos regarding Udo technical uh, Udo 16 technical course so uh, thank you guys for watching this video so please subscribe to our channel thank you